So, mystery of the backpack, yes? Okay. Stress, obviously. Um, so I've talked about it in my weekly presentation several times. Um, but I'd kind of like to go into a little bit more detail um, about stress. Um, and how Cranius Exeter can reduce it, because obviously there's no point in talking about it if we can't do anything about it. So the di dictionary definition of stress is a state of mental or emotional strain resulting from adverse or demanding circumstances, in other words, overload. So symptoms of stress, which probably sound familiar to a lot of people, anger, depression, anxiety, sleeping difficulties, tiredness, difficulty concentrating, feeling restless, physical aches and pains, and that's just to name a few. So long-term stress in the body is linked to serious illness, that's a fact now, you know. A lot of people really didn't get that for a long time, but it's starting to kind of get through to people. Stress really does affect you long-term. Um, so common sources of stress, well, we've all heard of the fight or flight, you know, that's basically, if someone comes along, do I run or do I stay and fight? Obviously that doesn't apply to normal day-to-day life, but we're still getting that response in our body, we're still getting those feelings of kind of basically want to hit somebody or run away from the situation. We're obviously holding that in our body, so that adrenaline that's being pumped around is staying, it's not going anywhere. And obviously there's an internal stress, internal stress, worrying about things you can't change. You know, waking in the middle of the night, that kind of, why am I awake, why am I worrying about this? It happens to most people. And worrying for no reason, you know, quite often if we look back, things that we've worried about have all turned out okay, but still, we worry. And a lot of people don't take into account of where they work, where they live most of their life, which is, is work, you know, we kind of, a lot of the time, that's where we spend our time. They can vary from kind of pressure of work, too much work, um, noise actually, a lot of people don't take that into account, noisy atmospheres, a lot of things going on all the time, that can, that can cause stress in the body. And of course, work, you can take your work home, you can take the stress home, so that can affect your family as well. You've all, probably most of you have heard of this one, but I'm going to tell it again. So I often compare how we are in our bodies with a bucket filled with water. So when our minds are stressed, when there's too much going on, the bucket's full. And because then what happens is when the bucket's full and we have more water, it overflows. And when the bucket overflows, that's when we start to have problems. So I say to people, working with something on a regular basis, be it craniosac therapy or some other kind of therapy, can actually help empty the bucket. So we'd all quite like to have buckets that are just a little bit low, below the top level, so that when something comes along and the water fills it up, we don't <coughs> overflow. So the way craniosac therapists work, it helps release those restrictions in the body. So the bucket's over full, we're holding the tension in our bodies, all this stress. So emotions are often linked to tension. Again, a lot of people don't kind of look at the emotion that they're feeling as related to anything that's going on in their body, but there is obviously a lot of correlation. So with craniosacral therapy, we actually get to the root cause of the stress. So we're, we're dealing with the physical, we're dealing with what's going on in the body and releasing the tension in the body, but equally, as we're releasing the tension in the body, then we're helping the emotions to calm. We're working with the nervous system, because basically when we're stressed, our nervous system is overall. So we're kind of calming, we're working with the nervous system to get it back down. So I'd like to, I was talking about work, I'd like to sort of look at workplace stress, because that is quite often when most people get stress in their life. And just an interesting fact, MIND, the National Association for Mental Health, estimates that one in six employees experience stress, depression or anxiety. So now stress is the number one cause of absenteeism in the workplace. So it used to be backaches, which is obviously good for me because I can do backaches as well, but stress is the number one now. So as I was saying last week, two for the price of one, I can help you back and help release the stress as well. The reason more people are suffering from stress, well, we, we all know what it is, don't we? Working longer hours, especially with, um, if we're business owners. And a lot of people, it's really, the threat of job loss is a really major stress because you're kind of having to work hard and making sure you're doing everything right. So it's, it's adding to the, to the burden. So in order to help people in the workplace, uh, myself and a colleague are coming together 
and we want to go into the workplace and we want to on a regular basis because if you're working regularly that's kind of releasing stress on a regular basis. So we'd like to go into companies, um, it can be once or twice a month or more regularly if, if it's needed, um, to give 30 minute sessions. So although my normal sessions are an hour, to actually give 30 minute sessions on a regular basis can be really, really valuable. Um, so it's to the benefit obviously to the employer because he's getting people in the workplace that are less stressed, which is what we're all looking for, more, you know, happier in their work, less absenteeism, which again is obviously costing a lot of money in companies, and the employee will benefit as well. They'll feel happier, they'll feel less stressed, and obviously that will leak into the rest of their life, into their family life as well as their work life. So I'd like your help actually, if you can, um, to help with this venture. I'm looking for companies possibly with 20 more employees, because that would mean that going in on a regular basis would be worthwhile. Um, so mainly in Kent, um, possibly in London as well, if there's a big enough um, employee base, we can actually travel up into London to do it as well. Um, so really the name and of the human resources manager or possibly the managing director of the company, whichever is more appropriate. So we're happy to go up and do talks and demos, because obviously most people don't know what craniosec therapy is. So to actually go and explain what it is and how we can work with people to, to actually relieve the stress in the workplace. Our new business is called Cranio Works. Um, so any ideas for catchy strap lines would be gratefully received. Because we've got a couple, but if anybody got any more ideas, that would be great. So that's it. Got any questions? I think it's a great idea, definitely. Yeah. Um, it's, a, it's a market you've not tapped yourself at before. No. So I'm pushing for it. I haven't yeah. got any questions, but I think it's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> you said 20, that's quite a large company. Yeah. Is there, would you do it for a, for a smaller would you Yeah, do I would do it, but again, it's, it's kind of we'd have to have a chat to see kind have of. Have you worked out what that bracket is? Like, uh, for example, what most of the people I know are over in, um, in, in West Kent rather than, rather than East Kent. So, a bit further to travel mm. so like it would be good to get like a, a clear picture of exactly what what that is maybe. so just a suggestion for mentioning in the next 60 seconds so cost, cost wise because if i introduce you to a company with five people in it and they're an hour away then that mm. might actually be a problem for you or, or would it i, I don't know mm. but that sometimes things like that lead on to bigger jobs so yeah yeah okay yeah that's something i will consider then because it is kind of working out because it's a new venture for, for both of us, it's yeah. kind of working out what's what's feasible and, and what's what isn't really. So obviously travelling into London, we're going to need quite a few to make it worthwhile to, yeah, to, yeah, to yeah. get a full day. And so, but locally, we may well be able to work with the smaller companies. Who, who is the venture? Who is another craniosacral? Yes, another craniosacral therapist. So yes, there's more than two of us, believe it or not. <laughs> um, so yeah, working together to do craniosacral therapy. Do you have any sort of an idea of the price or the cost matrix? Well, we, we're saying we're probably going to charge relative to what I charge per hour within the company, but again, it depends because some companies will pay for their employees, so again, that would kind of be a package price. And some people say, well, you know, I'm quite happy to let them have half an hour, but they've got to pay for themselves. So again, that would be kind of, we'll have to work out a discounted rate. So it would kind of be chatting to the company directly to kind of see what, what we can arrange, really. Um, but we're going to come up, try and come up with some pricing structure, but really it will be kind of on an individual basis, depending on what it is that they require, really. Okay. Have you got something you can email, Sharon, just giving some bullet points that I can forward that on then, rather than yeah, me yeah. trying to... Yeah, well, thanks for that. Yeah, what we're doing at the moment, we're getting together the website, and so it's all kind of under construction at the moment. So hopefully, within the next few weeks, that will be up and running. So then I can give all the information to everybody to actually forward on. Because yeah, quite often it is just that intro to say, you know, I can't explain it, but yeah, look, just have a look just at, look at this, this yeah. website. Yeah. And, and but if you get that onto us, we'll we'll, yeah. we'll forward it on. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Have you thought about contacting certain unions that uh, might be workplaces as a a benefit that the union can uh, yeah, offer. No, no, I haven't actually, but that would be worth thinking about. Yeah, thank you for that. Yeah, I'll, I'll bear that in mind. Any other questions? Yeah.